Hello, my name is Whiteout. Now in this video, I'm gonna be making a drone hood with expressions. So I'm basically gonna be combining these glasses with this gas mask right here. And I really need to thank user Ravik for this idea. You can see here a couple pictures of his design for this project. I thought it turned out fantastic. So of course I had to give it a try myself and I'm gonna share how I did it for all you people out there in case you wanna make your own. So starting off, you're gonna need a full face gas mask and these Bluetooth party glasses. I have a link for them in the video description. Also some window tinting to hide everything inside the mask and also some spare wire and a soldering iron, as well as some miscellaneous cutting and adhesive stuff like an X-Acto knife and a hot glue gun. So getting started, I need to separate the gas mask's visor from the rest of the mask. We're gonna need to get the visor separated in order to apply the window tinting and glue all the components into place on it. You can see it's been glued very well, and it's given me a little bit of a fight. With the visor separated, I drew a rough outline of how much tint I'll need to completely cover it, and then I was able to cut it out with some scissors. Next, I cleaned the visor of any dirt and fingerprints before applying the tint. Now this step's very important. I have a cup of water with several drops of dish soap added in, and I'm using my hand to give the visor a light covering of the solution. You don't need to add a lot, but this is important because it allows you to easily squeeze out any air bubbles once the tint is applied. I'm now applying the tint to the inside of the visor. Using my hand, and later a silicone squeegee, I squeeze out any of the air bubbles and remaining water solution that's stuck between the visor and the window tint. It's good to have some paper towel underneath to absorb any of the liquid as it's squeezed out. After everything has been squeezed out, I use an X-Acto knife to cut the excess window tint off the sides of the visor. Moving on to the LED glasses, I need to unscrew 11 screws before I can get to all the internal guts. I now separate the battery from the glasses. I'm going to build a separate battery enclosure on the outside of the hood since the inside is going to get pretty cramped. So I soldered two long wires to the power tracings on the PCB. I'm also going to extend the internal power button to the external battery enclosure. But sadly, none of the other exposed tracings on the PCB connected to this button. So I need to solder wires onto the same tracings the power button was already using. I also added some hot glue to give my solder joints some added strength. Moving forward, I noticed the PCB was pretty sharp along the edges. I was afraid this could scrape up the window tint or irritate my face. So I added a little bit of pre-glued felt along the edges to soften everything up. With the PCB finalized, I used two-way command sticky pads on the PCB and the inside of the visor in order to easily stick the PCB into place. This is then reinforced with a healthy amount of hot glue. So here's the inside of the completed visor. Now let's get this gas mask all put back together. After this, we're going to be focusing on the external battery compartment. First, I removed the old battery that came with the glasses, as well as the original wires which supplied power. I'm adding new wires to the charging circuit. 
This is because I'm upgrading the battery from the originally supplied 180 milliamp hour unit to a 330 milliamp hour cell. For the battery compartment, I designed a custom enclosure. If you have access to a 3D printer, I included download links to the STL files in the video description. A little hot glue is applied and the charging circuitry is glued in place. I then solder in the power wires which lead to the glasses PCB and I also add in a toggle switch which is connected to the power button on the glasses. You can see here's the inside of the battery compartment. All that's left to do is seal it up and see if everything works. And it's all systems go. Time for some drone fun. Thanks for watching my video. Big thanks again to Ravik for the idea. But that's all I have for now. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe out there.